Hey everyone, this is Adam Law once again with a new video for Wanderings. Today's video, really important topic, awesome topic, how to get what you want. So you know, in the past, I used to have things just sort of happen to me. Though I had a lot of raw skills and abilities and stuff, things never seemed to work out for me. Life just kind of happened. I was constantly qualifying. I was constantly saying, hey, this is a, a, a cute girl. Maybe I could be good enough for her. But did you ever ask yourself, is she good enough for me? Or for a job, a job, a business opportunity that I wanted. It was constantly me going into their interview. But did I ever ask myself, is this job enough for me? Is this business enough for me? You know, life just sort of happened. But something changed. Something turned around. How did I change things so that people wanted to be connected to me? People wanted to be in my life. And there's two main points I'm going to make in this video about how to get the things you want in your life. And this really is going to apply to everything. And the first thing is hard work. You need to change. You need to do consistent hard work and new habits. You need to go to the gym, eat better, dress better. But more importantly, with business and money, you need to go out there and do the work, whether it's the education or just the phone calls or whatever it is, learn the skills you need to do. You need to do steps every day of consistent, hard work. And then when it comes to meeting people, if you wanna meet girls, you need to go to places. You need to put yourself out there, get great videos, get great Instagram, go to bars, go to places, and improve yourself in both your money and your business and your game, all your relationships. Everything needs to improve. You need to become the best person you can be, and that means working on yourself. There's this whole trend, people say, you know, just be yourself. No, become the best version of yourself. That's what you need to do, constantly striving, constantly moving forward. There's a saying by the ancient Chinese philosopher Sun Tzu who says, all battles are won before they're even fought. Before anything actually happens, you need to become the person that would win that battle, that would get that job, that would get that girl. You could fake it for so long, but that's not really going to work, right? Say you have this amazing product that you want to get out there and you advertise and you say how great it is. And well, what's going to happen when you don't actually have the product ready? You don't have it, you know, tested. You don't have it built. You don't have the product ready to deliver. You're going to fail, right? So you can't offer something that you don't actually have to give. You have to have the best product. And that goes for yourself too. It goes for women too. You know, you may be good at meeting women. You may be able to go out there and get in the apps and look good and do the filters on your phone or whatever to go out there and meet people. But then when it comes down to it, you get to know somebody until you've done the work on yourself, the, the emotional, the physical work and the financial work that's necessary to become the person you're going to be. You're not going to maintain, you're not going to sustain the type of relationships that you want in your life, right? You have to do that consistent work every day. And the next thing is, of course, frame. Frame is extremely important. And basically frame means to people that you are entering my world. I'm not entering you, your world, right? Like so many people see a pretty girl and they say, oh, I want to date that girl. Maybe I'll be good enough for her. Maybe I'll impress her. Maybe I'll chase after her. You think high quality people don't have people chasing them, getting in their DMs all day long, trying to get their attention. But what would really impress somebody, a high quality person, is to be the person who doesn't chase them. To be a person who just is cool on their own. Just, it's obvious, the energy is just flowing from them. They walk into a room, they walk into a bar, they walk into a meeting, and people want to listen to them, people want to connect to them. It's obvious that person's got it. Anyone who brags has nothing to offer. It should be very obvious to every person what you offer by your very presence. Don't explicate, demonstrate. Or another way to say it is, it's all about attraction and not promotion. And that's frame. That's frame management, being the person you could be. Being somebody that you qualify. Is this job good enough for me? Is this client good enough for me? Is this girl good enough for me? Whatever. It's not about can you fall into their category. It's are they able to fall into your category, into your frame? Before you go to a big meeting and you're worried about something, and you're like, okay, I'm gonna have to explain and demonstrate what happened in the past, etc., and how I, you know, how I wasn't really wrong. How about going in there and demonstrating that maybe they aren't up to your level? You have concerns whether you want that job, whether you want that girl. Completely change it, flip the script. Are they good enough for you? That's what you gotta do. That's about frame control. 
entering my frame. This is my world. This is my reality. This is my life. Do you want to enter to that life? And what do I have to offer? That's very important. What Dale Carnegie says in How to Win Friends, Influence People, the most important thing in the beginning of a business letter is what you can offer. Nobody cares about what they can offer you. They're looking for somebody to solve their problem, whether it's a relationship problem, whether it's a business problem, money problem. How can you enter their life? What can you do for them? What can you offer them? And oftentimes that is fixed by the frame question. Just by having frame, by being charismatic, attractive, strong, successful person, that's automatically going to answer that question for them. They say, this is somebody with potential. This is a guy who's gonna build. Even if you're young and you haven't really built anything yet, a girl will see a guy who's got it going on and say, that guy's got the skills, he's got the qualities, he's got the things that I need in my life. And that's the same thing with business too. If you're doing well at an interview, even if you don't have the skills yet, even if you don't have the experience yet, if you got frame, you got it going on. That is the type of person they want to hire. It's all about how you value yourself. You are the prize. Not that girl, not that guy, not that job. You're the prize. You're the one that they want you in their life. If you don't respect yourself and your needs, how are they going to respect you? Right? Everyone's always coming in the beginning of any relationship with what can you do for me? So offer them, show them what you can do for them, but you also let them know what they can do for you. You need some more money, right? This is what you want. And be able to walk away from any relationship, any negotiation. The ability to walk away from a woman, the ability to walk away from a job is your strongest negotiating tool. And you have to meet it. And that's by having that value, having that frame. People hate nice guys. Women are built to not like nice guys. They don't want it to be all about them. They want to enter your world. They want it to be, you got something going on. And that's the same thing with business too. It's all the same skills. It's life skills, and that's how you get what you want. All love, all connection comes from respect. You don't get love until you have respect. You don't get money until you have respect. No one wants to work with someone they don't have respect. Become the person you are, do the work, day in, day out consistently, and build the frames in order to become the person that you want to be. That's going to get you the things you want in your life. This is Adam Law with Wanderings. I'm available for that coaching, the consulting, I'm there to help you get your thing together. I'm also a psychotherapist, I'm trained, I'm qualified. I got all the qualifications, whatever you need, I'll take care of you. Be in touch, okay? Peace. Until next time. Thank you.